Hello, hello! Are you guys ready for today's video? We're making a mermaid soap. Now, I've been receiving a lot of questions about my recipe. Uh, I'm going to leave the recipe in the description box and I'm going to leave the link to the site that where I got it. I did make some adjustments and I add cowling clay and I add colloid oatmeal, but that's the base recipe I use. So, let's get started! So if you've been watching my videos, you know I love to add kaolin clay and colloidal oatmeal. That's what we have here. And we just want it to be very fine so it gets really incorporated with the oils. And tell me, how was your day? What have you been planning on doing? What have you been planning with your soap or candle journey? I've been creating a bunch of stuff because I have a bunch of markets. I've been booking a lot of markets. Every weekend I have one, so I'm very proud of myself for that. That was one of my main goals this year. So I am really proud of myself. So today we are using this hybrid blender. <laughs> this part is from William's blender, my husband, and this part is for my blender. And I thought it would be fun because we have a mermaid soap. And it's gonna have pink and blue in it. Now in my last video, I made a coconut uh, soap. And guys, it was amazing. Better than, you know, without the coconut oil. I thought it was not gonna make any difference, but it did guys. And today, I'm just <laughs> adding my coconut oil again. I mean, coconut um, milk again. So go let's mix this okay and now we are ready for the lye water I am adding my sodium lactate as always uh, I add three teaspoons and it has to be a hard teaspoon so it works nah <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> I love my spoon look at it so cute love it <laughs> the other day my husband was making soap with me I'm teaching him how to make soap because I've been having you know like I told you I've, I'm gonna have a lot of markets and I really need to create a lot of products and he's been helping me so I was showing him how to make soap and when I told him to add the sodium lactate and I gave him the spoon he looked at me like really <laughs> So it was cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna mute this part of the video and let's mix this. All right, so we have come to emulsion. I always like to check my stick blender and if it stays glossy like that and it doesn't start dividing, then we know we have emulsion which is that everything is completely mixed. It's looking good. So let me just remove this part. And for this soap, I've been changing the design and I've changed it so many times. I'm really not sure what I was going to do. I'm still not sure. So let's just figure this out together. Sorry, I was moving the camera, okay. Here I have some titanium dioxide. This I know I want to add to my mix. And remember, all of the tools that I use are linked in the description box, including this little mixer. Okay, so now this is teal to mat my dust. So, I decided what I'm going to do. Okay, most of the soap I want it to be blue and then white. So, I'm going to divide the butter now. Okay, okay that's enough. I'm going to color this blue. And I'm going to add some titanium dioxide to the mix. Because I want it to be really light blue. This blue is beautiful. It's like a... I mean, it's teal, it's not blue, but see, it's very green. 
something got mixed in there. I don't know what that is. Okay. It's beautiful. But I want it to be a little bit more on the white side. And that looks beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to add the rest of the white to this butter right here, but I think it needs a little bit more white. There you go, okay? And then the rest goes in here. Beautiful. Oh my God, beautiful color. Okay, so I'm gonna... The white with another spatula. So Tame, tell me, if you're a soap maker, have you done a mermaid soap? Do you like to put embeds on your soap? Or just do swirls? I love to get creative with this process. Like this is so much fun to me. Creating in my mind the idea and then making embeds. It's super, super fun for me. So yeah, this will turn a little bit more white once it cures. Oh, what was that? I added milk. Oh my God. Okay, what's this? Titanium dioxide. I added milk. <laughs> I thought it was the titanium dioxide. Oops. <laughs> Okay, mix, 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 mix. And now to the scary part. Guess what the scary part is? Ah, the fragrance oil. <laughs> the fragrance oil that we're going to use today is called Mermaids at Midnight from Nature's Garden. It's been a long time since I made a soap with that fragrance. I don't remember it accelerating my batter, but that happened with one of the soaps that I made last time and it didn't went good <laughs> it accelerated and i panicked but i managed that's a good thing oh my god moment of truth you're here with me so let's do this all right so most of it here and then here and let's just spray oh my god the yellow Super bright yellow. I don't feel it thickening. Maybe just a little bit right now. The thing is, guys, that I'm trying to avoid soda ash. And I'm making all this water discounts just to try not to get it. And I guess that's really affecting how fast it accelerates. All right looking good anyway so let's just do this one all right so I'm just gonna make an ink pot swirl it's manageable so yeah it's not bad phew I can't breathe now <laughs> it did turn my soap a little yellow so but I remember, I don't remember it discoloring, so it's kind of like, what's going on here? So I'm just gonna randomly pour it like this. And let's just pour. Definitely looks green. Hopefully that changes. <laughs> I don't want it to be green. Okay, so now the fun part, we have the embeds. And for the embeds, I have some mermaid tails, some seashells. I also have some sprinkles. I have a bunch of fun things that we can use in this soap. But first, I'm going to wait a little bit for the top to be a little bit firmer. Firmer? Harder? 
you get the point. <laughs> and then we're gonna add the embeds. Things that we're going to use for the top. Let's just make kind of like a wave. Like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, have fun with the process. This is the most relaxing part. I'm gonna leave it like that because that part I caught anyway. So, here we have big waves. And now we're gonna start putting our embeds. So, I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. I guess I'm just gonna put the tail like that. And then this part looks ugly, okay. Guys, do you struggle with your gloves? Like I wish I could get small, smaller gloves, but this only comes in medium. These are the only ones I could find. Such a pain. Cause I can't, like I can't feel what I'm doing. That's the problem. Okay, so one of these. Making sure I'm in the line. And this, um, the mold, I bought it from Amazon. And the seashells, I got them at Joanne's. They have a bunch of pretty molds over there. And they always have sales happening. The mermaids, the mermaid tails, I painted them with mica. As you can see, I just brushed some dry mica on them. The only prob problem I have with that mold is that I feel the tail in this part is too thin. And I am so scared thinking that people are going to break it. So I'll guess I just have one soap out for demonstration so they can see it and then I'll keep the rest in the back. Just in case, because I know there will be a lot of little girls that will love the soap and of course they will want to touch it. Let's just do one with, let's see, let me use the sand dollar. Looks cool. Again, let me just make sure everything is centered. There you go. I'm gonna be so nervous when I cut this. Thankfully, I have a single cutter, so it will be easier for me. All right, so looking cute, looking good. Now we're going to add some sprinkles. I wanted to add some pearls, but I don't know. Should I? Hmm. Let me just add this first. This is... Himalayan salt and I added a little bit of mica and kind of painted the salt it looks so pretty all right and I'm going to add some gold too And this is definitely not what I have in mind. I had in mind. Um, Cause I see it looks green and it's making me nervous. Okay, I'm not gonna add the big ones, but I'm gonna add some small ones. This is gonna give it a little bit more contrast cause you see we have a lot of color. White is gonna tone it down a little. All right, 
Oops. Okay. Now, I kind of want to add some of this to this color. Just in case our soap doesn't go back to that beautiful teal. At least we will have it in this rocks. Look how pretty that looks. Now what is a mermaid soap without glitter? Let's add some glitter. And for my glitter, I use this sugar art. It is edible, so it's safe. I got that one whew, years ago at a cake shop. I once was really interested in taking cake, like cake and baking classes. Uh, when my son was, I think like about a year old, I was like, I wanna do something creative. And I went to this place, but I couldn't uh, like, I saw the place and everything and I was really interested but at that moment I didn't have the money to do it so I stopped pursuing um, you know learning you can always learn on YouTube and stuff like that but I just wanted to have like a formal education I don't regret it because this is similar to cooking you have your ingredients and then when it comes to decorating, that's that was like the, the part that I was most interested in. And I ended up having my own soap business. So it's like the same thing as baking for me. So we're good. We're good. Should I add the pearls? Oh, I wish this video was live so you could tell me. But it's not. Maybe I should consider doing a live in the future so you can help me with this kind of stuff I think I could kind of like do that I've been getting a lot lately people saying that my soaps are too pretty to use and I take that as a compliment but at the same time it's like please use it I use such a such good ingredients and you can feel the difference in your skin when you use this soap. So it's like, please use it, it's amazing. <laughs> All right guys, I think we are done here. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna show you a clip now, like around it so you can see it. Um, I'm gonna add some alcohol and I'm gonna cover it and we'll cut it tomorrow. So it happened. I went to check it last night to see if it was overheating and I broke one of the mermaid tails. I'm gonna try to repair it with some melt and pour. I'm gonna melt some melt and pour and try to fix it. Let's see if that works, but first I'm just gonna cut them. <laughs> 